The film begins with a wild tribe bringing a little boy to the altar for sacrifice and dancing around him. The tribal leader greets the deity and presents him with a generous gift in the form of the helpless Lin Shu. Soon the boy notices a huge black python and realizes that his days are numbered. As soon as the snake attacks, he wakes up and realizes that he fell asleep on a wooden raft next to his uncle trying to catch some fish. Upon waking up, Lin Shu notices a foggy island nearby and asks his uncle about it. Ah Fang tells that this is an island of cannibals, the coast of which is strewn with human bones. It is dangerous to approach it, so they should stay away from him. Trying to get a fishing net, the man does not realize that something huge and terrible is swimming under their raft. All of a sudden, he falls into the water and greatly frightens his nephew. A few moments later, Ah Fang pops up and says he's fine. He's just tangled up in the net. Getting out on the boat, the man sees that the current carries them to the shore of the island of cannibals and struggles to swim away from it. At some point, Afong turns around and notices that his nephew has disappeared. The man calls Lin Shu and tries to find him, when he suddenly notices a huge king of snakes. Frightened by the aggressive black python, the uncle quickly swims away. Upon returning home, he goes to the boy's father. He is his own brother Tan Shu to tell him about what happened. Meanwhile, a lonely and lost boy explores the island of cannibals, oblivious to small snakes crawling nearby. At some point, the boy falls to the ground due to a stick that lay in his path and sees a huge snakeskin in front of him. Hearing a strange noise, Lin Shu turns around but sees no one. A moment later, a wild plant attacks him and drags him to his dungeon. Trapped in the root system, Lin Shu looks around and notices the gnawed human bones. Realizing that he is in trouble, the boy cries and screams, calling his parents for help. At some point, an unknown mucus drips onto his hand, and raising his head up, Lin Shu sees a royal flower ready to feast on a little boy. Ah Fang and Tan Shu are about to go to the island of cannibals to find and save the boy. Treasure seekers led by Mr. Zhao agree to help them, who hope for easy money, because they heard that there are many valuable plants on that island. The elder of the village is against it, since there is a curse on the island that can destroy all life in the area. Tan Shu and his brother are not afraid of this, because the boy is in danger and he needs help. Zhao also sees no problem with them going to the island, as it is foolish to believe in fairy tales from past generations and curses that don't exist. In the late afternoon, the group arrives at Cannibal Island and begins searching for the missing Lin Shu. Zhao orders his subordinates to take a good look around and find valuable plants that can improve their financial situation. One of the group finds some snake eggs and brings them to Zhao. The boss is disappointed with his wards, because no one needs them. At the same time, he notices a beautiful bright red flower, and orders his ward to cut it down. As soon as the assistant begins to wield a pickaxe, a black snake appears on the spot and takes his life. The group hears the guy's last scream, and realizes that something has happened to him. Meanwhile, Lin Shu's mother notices the boy's shoes, confirming his stay on the island. The Snake King attacks the group and they flee. At some point, they get attacked by a living plant and dragged underground. Once in a terrible place, they hear the call of the boy and run to his aid. Meanwhile, Zhao and his assistants see the bones of people, from which aggressive snakes begin to crawl out. They attack the group and force them to flee from here as soon as possible. The easy prey seekers and Lin Shu's family flee. Before climbing out, Lin Shu stops and grabs one snake egg, stuffing it into his bag. At the top, the argument ends as the boy's mother and later Zhao pass out due to the snake bites. Upon returning to their native village, the group asks the doctor to help the victims, but he is powerless. The elder is angry because he warned about the possible consequences. Upon getting to know that their village is being attacked by hundreds of angry snakes, all the villagers leave to fight them, leaving Lin Shu with his sick mother. Before falling asleep forever, the woman asks her son to love nature and gives him a pendant. Sometime later, Lin Shu notices that an egg he took with him has hatched a golden snake with silver spots. He takes care of her, gives her the name Xiao Hua, and hides from his father, fearing his displeasure. 
Soon the man hears that his son is talking to someone and sees a snake. He orders to get rid of her and yells at Lin Shu. Realizing that he is powerless to protect his friend, the boy runs to the riverbank and releases Xiao Hua. Other snakes also appear here, taking the golden python with them and crawling away, leaving the inhabitants of the city alone. Ten years later, Lin Shu works as a biologist in a private clinic and researches plant genetics. The guy still remembers the symbols he saw in the cave on the island of cannibals and thinks about returning there. Soon his uncle calls him and informs him that the villagers are sick with the plague and snakes are to blame for this. A little later, Lin Shu goes to a meeting where Dr. Lai tells everyone present and the owner of the Fei Clinic that they managed to buy a golden silver flower with unique properties. Perhaps he can give immortality. But for this, you need to go to the island of cannibals to get more samples. Knowing that Lin Shu lived nearby. Fei appoints the guy as the leader of the group and introduces him to her charming daughter Lily. A couple of days later, Lin Shu and a group of scientists arrive at the village where they see a terrible picture. There are a lot of snake skins scattered around and constantly itching plague patients. For the first time in a long time, being at home, Lin Shu goes to the grave of his mother to honor her memory. His father also comes here, with whom they have not communicated in recent years. The next morning a group of scientists with an armed escort, Zhao and his men, and Lin Shu's uncle and father set out for the cannibal island. Upon arrival, they begin their search for a golden silvery flower, the cost of which is measured in millions of dollars. Trying to find something valuable, one of Zhao's assistants cuts down a flower. This leads to terrible consequences, because the plant turned out to be alive. The wild flowers attack the group and take the lives of several escorts. Noticing a nearby cave, Lin Shu offers to hide inside it. As soon as everyone is inside, they stop noticing the same flower at the entrance. After plucking it, Fei notices that nearby plants have died. Dr. Lai understands that the island is an ecosystem where life is sustained by these little flowers. According to legend, the island should have a royal flower that supports the island and everything that is on it. The dangerous flower attacks the group again, and they have to run away. Lin Shu stays behind to help the others. At some point he can't cope, but Lily helps the guy. Leaving behind the others, they go along another path and find themselves in a room with an altar for sacrifices. At the same time, the group finds itself in another part of the cave and sees a huge black python. A frightened Zhuoa shoots him, causing the Snake King to attack them. The group manages to escape using a thin passage in the cave. Meanwhile, Lin Shu and Lily hear a strange sound when suddenly a golden and silver python appears in their room. The girl is very frightened, and the guy is preparing to say goodbye to life, but the snake does not attack, but only lightly touches Lin Shu's forehead. Realizing that this is his Xiao Hua, the guy strokes the python and lets Lily do the same. Because snakes are not as scary as people think, the main thing is to treat them with soul. As soon as a shot is fired, the golden python hides. Lin Shu and Lily wanted to go to the sound, but were delayed when they saw the frescoes left by the local natives on the wall. After studying them, they understand that the island was created as a result of a meteorite fall, and a parasitic plant with regenerative properties is the source of its life. It can communicate with animals, giving them unique abilities. Meanwhile, the group that escaped from the Black Python ended up in a room with the Plant King. The wild flower attacks the trapped scientists, as the Snake King has also found them, and is ready to attack. Realizing that they will have to sacrifice someone, Zhao pushes one of the henchmen to the python, and this allows the group to escape. Meeting with her mother, Lily talks about seeing a golden python. Faye realizes that it is a symbiote, of great value to her, and offers an increased bounty to Zhao for catching the python alive. Lin Shu and Lily realize that they shouldn't have reported this and are very upset. The squad soon finds a golden python trying to heal the Snake King's bullet wounds. Seeing the golden scale fall off, Lin Shu realizes that his Sao Hua is a symbiote of a snake and plants with healing properties. Fei demands to capture the golden serpent at any cost and does not intend to listen to her impudent daughter, who received her in the face. 
The group attacks the pythons, but the golden serpent manages to escape. The snake king rebuffs the offenders and severely punishes them for penetrating their lands. At some point, Lin Shu also gets under the distribution, whom the black python bites on the neck. Father and uncle stand up for the unfortunate guy and attack the snake. Wounded Lin Shu is about to fall asleep forever, but Xiao crawls to his aid. Hua heals an old friend with just one touch. Zhao seizes the moment and hits the snake in the head with a rifle butt, knocking him unconscious. Fei soon arrives and the man presents her with a python, informing her that the wounded Lin Shu was a great bait. The prey is caught, but it is impossible to get out of the cave, as the king of snakes guards the exit. Realizing this, the group decides to use the golden python as bait and place it in a net to lure out the black serpent and send it to the other world. The plan quickly goes awry as the huge python proves to be stronger and makes short work of the armed members of the group with little trouble. Lily sees that her mother also got it, and tries to help her by shooting the king of snakes with a crossbow. The black python attacks the girl, but Lin Shu saves her at the last moment. Having missed, the king of snakes attacks the royal plant, and entangled in its roots, destroys it. Lin Shu and Lily are the first to get out of the cave and find two golden silver flowers. The scientist realizes that they can be used to heal the people living in his village and hides the plant in his pocket. Soon, the other members of the group also get out, with Lin Shu's uncle and father remaining in the cave. Zhao proposes to get rid of the golden snake and save only its blood. As soon as he draws a knife, only Shu pounces on him to save his friend. The guy loses in a fight, and Xiao Hua attacks Zhao in order to bite him and avenge the offended comrade. Not wanting anyone to suffer, Lin Shu gives Zhao one flower and helps him heal. Feeling his strength returned, Zhao attacks Lin Shu again and also fights his father and uncle. The golden serpent attacks the man again, but he bites the python. Seeing this, Lin Shu reveals the secret of the frescoes and understands that the ancient tribes drank the blood of snakes for longevity, but fell ill with the plague and left for the next world. In another fight, Lin Shu again loses to Zhao. The father stands up for his son and covering him with his body, gets stabbed in the back. Zhao sees how his body is covered with ulcers. Lin Shu realizes that eating the flower is dangerous, as it must be fed to the snakes. Nature does not like breakers of the rules, because no one should live forever. Now it becomes clear that the former tribes disappeared due to the fact that they contracted the plague and left this world. Fei's armed guards try to get rid of Zhao, but he is too strong and sends Dr. Lai to the other world. Once Zhao and Lin Shu get into a fight, everyone else tries to escape. Lily wants to help the guy and comes back. Taking a crossbow she tries to take a man's life, but misses. Zhao shoots Lin Shu and feels incredible strength, when suddenly the Snake King attacks him, and after getting rid of the crazy man, hides under the ground. The island begins to crumble, and the group runs towards the shore. At some point, trees fall in front of them, blocking the passage, but a golden python helps them. On the shore, Lin Shu sees that the snake is ill, and decides to feed him a second healing flower. Fei asks to give it to her because otherwise she will go bankrupt, but for a guy, his friend is more important than money. Saving Xiao's life, the guy returns to his native village and synthesizes a medicine to help its inhabitants get rid of the plague.